Hello YouTube. Just want to do a quick update, and um, I know I was I said it was going to be a little while, but um, I actually got the vertical system finished, so I wanted to give you an update on what it looks like. Um, it, it looks like to me there's been a lot of change in what we've got growing here. The tomatoes are bigger, strawberries are bigger. Uh, this head of lettuce here is exploding, and the uh, peppers back there are huge. Also got some um, basil coming up here, which is great. Um, took out those old lights that I wasn't using anymore and added a secondary drain just as an overflow in case my uh, uh, second pump on the top uh, goes out. Um, and actually just used these little rubber sheets and made my own washers and own wool flange and it works perfectly. So um, I think that was about a $3, no, probably $2 um, fitting that I made right there. So much better than $8 for a... a uh, bulkhead. Anyways, fish are happy. Um, they're enjoying their their new home or current home, and uh, we got the vertical system here. So, seeing this part here, I moved the plants that I planted um, two weeks ago up to the top, or excuse me, a week ago. So these are the seedlings from one week ago. I've got four planted here straight with seeds from this weekend, and then I've got room for additionals here. Um, the big addition is this right here got the vertical pipe up, or vertical light, excuse me, and just made this out of some scrap wood that we had to hold that. It's about 18 inches from the, uh, from the light to the front of the cups, which if I do the vertical systems that I, the little uh, round tubes out in the garage, um, this is about the distance from the center to the edge of the, uh, the, uh, the vertical tubes. So, Everything is in, everything's running great. Um, if you notice, it's a lot quieter now. So I still have uh, the gravel down the bottom to muffle the sound here. And then hopefully you can see this, and you'll be able to see it from this end. But uh, I put a drain in for the, uh, for the uh, vertical there. Basically capped off the end of that gutter, and I put in another bulkhead. It's just a male and a female. Um, that fitting there is a 45. It just goes straight down into the water. Um, that way, rather than the water splashing, it just flows down and nice and smooth. Um, I've got all my pumps, all the valves wide open now. Uh, that way I can keep the water circulating as best as possible. And the only other change I may make to this is to put a bubbler down into the sump just to keep things moving. Um, but uh, at any rate, prototype is up and running. We're going to let it run for a while uh, before I start the... Uh, system. My pH is right at 6.2 and I just put in some buffering agents, some calcium and potassium today to uh, try to get that back up to the mid sixes. At any rate, that's it. Um, oh yeah, the only other thing I may add is an actual um, mount to hang this, uh, hang this light from, but everything else is going to remain as is. Uh, we may also move this out to the garage. I think I mentioned that last week, um, but again, that's up in the air. So a little bit of wire management to do, just to uh, make me feel better about having electricity and water in the same place. And uh, eventually I'll get that third tube back up with some two inch pots in it. So very happy with the way everything's worked out and um, I hope you enjoyed. So next update will be when we've got uh, some, some real things growing over here and maybe after we've cycled through um, one set. Basically we're going from seed to a uh, full grown plant directly in these tubes. And we'll see how that goes. Anyways, appreciate you watching and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.